Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here, and today's video is going to be a little bit different than the sort of video I normally make. Today is going to be sort of a direct address to a particular independent studio that I think may have made a potentially disastrous decision for the future of their company and their next project that they're working on currently, I think may have made a huge misstep here, which I'm not being hyperbolic in saying could potentially lead to the studio shutting down. Now, I might be overstepping my boundaries here by saying that, but what I'm seeing here is some major problems ahead for them if they continue down the path they're on, and I'm hoping maybe, potentially, they might change their mind. Now, what studio am I talking about? What game am I talking about? Well, the studio I'm talking about is Housemark. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the name Housemark, you may have actually played one of their games if you were an early adopter of the PlayStation 4 and if you had PlayStation Plus as a subscription. Because this is one of the first games that came out on the service for free once the PS4 launched. And of course, in the early days of this console generation, there were not very many games to choose from. So a lot of people downloaded and installed a game called Rezogun, which is from Housemark Studios. And this game got pretty popular for a while because, like I said, there was not a whole lot left to play, and a Resogun is a well-made twin-stick shooter, has some great graphics, some great music, the sound effects is tight, the mechanics are very well done, it's a good game. Now, me particularly, I am not good at twin-stick shooters, but Resogun is a game that I played a lot of anyway because it is just very well made. They also made some other games like Next Machina, which is what you're seeing on the screen here. They made games like Matterfall, Dead Nation, Alien Nation, They're, they've had a good string of games that got well reviewed and in fact this game here Next Machina that you see on the screen is one of the highest reviewed games of 2017 and the users also tend to like the games, they get good user reviews as well but one of the issues is that the games just don't sell very well. They're critically successful, commercially not so much so. So the fact that a lot of people have still played one of their games, if you've played Resogun, their other games just really weren't selling very well. And so in 2017, they put out a newsletter letting everyone know that unfortunately they were going to have to step away from the genre entirely, which is really too bad because they really did do a very good job of it, but there just isn't the same demand for this arcade style twin stick shooter as there is for a lot of, lot of other genres. And so in late 2017, they made this announcement and they said that they were working on something and they were going to make an announcement soon. And in April of last year, they finally revealed which game they were working on. It's a game called Storm Divers, which is a battle royale game. Now, they sort of danced around the issue. They didn't really want to label a battle royale game. But yesterday on Saturday, they actually rolled out the closed beta, which they had some streams going. The developer themselves had some streams going. They allowed players to stream the game. So for the first time, we really got a good look at the gameplay, and it is, in fact, just a battle royale game. That's what it is. Now, they have been talking about how they're trying to set themselves apart from the other battle royale games, but based on what I saw, I don't see how it's really structurally very much different from a game like Fortnite. Now, it does have the cartoony graphics of Fortnite as well, so I don't see how this game is going to draw in the PUBG crowd or the Blackout crowd, people who want that more realistic approach. This is a game, it's Storm Divers, where you have jetpacks and you fly around and Everything looks very similar to a Fortnite, just with a few added mechanics and a few mechanics that aren't there at all. So based on what I saw, and you can go and watch some of these streams and some of these videos on YouTube yourself, I don't see anything that's going to differentiate this game from Fortnite or the other clones that we have seen come out in the past year or so, which have also failed. I'm talking about a game like Radical Heights from Cliffy B Studio, which ultimately led to the shutdown of the, that studio. They decided to make a last-ditch effort because they were not financially viable. They decided to go into the Battle Royale genre, and as a result, the studio is now shut down. We also saw games similar to that in the survival genre. The Culling 2 came out last year and couldn't even get enough people to populate a single game. People were just getting into matches with one or two people. They were automatically winning matches because they were the only ones in the lobby and they had to shut down the servers on that game almost immediately because, quite honestly, there just isn't enough interest in games that aren't Fortnite 
or PUBG or Blackout right now. And now there's even another game that's going around called Realm Royale, which is also chewing into that sort of cartoony Battle Royale style. So there's just not enough players to go around, especially when Fortnite is dominating the way it is. And so when I looked at the stream yesterday and I saw the gameplay for this game, Storm Divers from Housemark, it really got me discouraged about the future of their company. Now, when they first announced this game, a lot of people reached out to them and said, please don't do this. This is not a good idea. And while I understand totally the need for them to abandon the arcade twin stick shooter genre because it just wasn't paying the bills anymore, I don't understand how they think that releasing a battle royale game in this market is going to somehow save the day for them. Now, they did put out a newsletter at the end of last year in 2018, letting people know that they're also working on a triple A game, but in the newsletter it says that they're still searching for a publisher for that game. Now they've ramped up the hiring at the studio. Apparently there are over 50 people now and they have two different teams. One team is working on Storm Divers, one team is working on this unannounced project. But I don't see how a studio of this size, which by their own admission is not doing so well financially based on the sales of their last few games, and without a major publisher backing them, I don't understand how exactly they think they're going to release a game that could be labeled AAA. Now, they certainly have some skill and talent at this studio. The games that I've played from them are very mechanically sound. They have great soundtracks. The sound effects are great. The mechanics are just spot on. If I was better at these games, I would probably enjoy them more, but I still keep going back and playing these games from time to time just because I have fun playing them. I, I am admittedly terrible at them, but I do have fun playing the Housemark games, and I would hate to see them have to shut down by wasting all of this time on this Storm Divers project because I just see this game as being a complete failure. Now, in the beta yesterday, even on the developer's own stream, there was only a few dozen people watching it. And if you go and look at the Twitch streams that were posted yesterday, you'll see total amount of views of 12, 16, 32, I think, was the most views I saw from other people. If you go onto YouTube, not saying anything bad about the content creators that posted their footage, but I didn't even see a single video of beta footage from this game that has over 50 views. So there just is no buzz about this game at all. And I think it's a very big mistake for an indie developer to just say, hey, Battle Royale is popular. We've been working on this game for a couple years. Therefore, we got to pump this game out. I think if it's at all possible for them to pull the plug on this game now and still keep themselves financially viable long enough to work on and release this triple a project that they're working on i think that's what they need to do i th i think they would be best served by pulling the plug on this game right now cut their losses and just move on if that is at all an option for them i would say please housemark I, I know the odds of you hearing my voice and listening to this video is very low, but if anyone at the studio does run across this, please at least consider what I'm saying here because I like your games. I know you haven't been successful selling them, but please, I'm not saying, and I'm not saying to go back to this genre. I'm not saying that at all, but please, you, this Storm Divers game is a disaster waiting to happen. And that's not me being negative, that's me being pragmatic. And in the stream yesterday, they, the developer himself who was in the Housemark stream, it seems like they don't really have a true focus on what they're going to do. They were basically like, hey, this is what we're, we have now. We're working on some other stuff. They're working on some PvP modes, some PvE modes. They're, they're, they just seem like they don't have much of a focus and don't have much of a direction. And they are, to their credit, they're asking for fan feedback on what they can improve and what they want to do going forward, which is admirable, but it just seems like they're not working on tweaking an existing focused vision. It seems like they're just sort of winging it and hoping that this game sticks. They 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 seem still very positive about it and optimistic that they can pull it off, and they told fans not to worry about it. They think that they've got it, and I'm telling you, there's a place for optimism, and I don't think that this is the place for it. And, and I know that people say I'm a negative Nancy, but this is I think this is legitimately a potential catastrophe for Housemark, for the studio. And I really, really hope that they will examine the situation, 
recognize the fact that they got no buzz yesterday about this game and really take a step back. And you guys can be the judge yourselves. Go ahead and try to check out some of the footage yourself if, you, if you're interested in it from the closed beta yesterday and tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm missing something where you're seeing it set apart itself from the other games in the Battle Royale genre. It looks basically like Fortnite with jetpacks and similar type maps, similar type motion. Every, everything else looked very similar. I don't see how this is going to compete with Fortnite. And in the stream yesterday, someone asked them what the potential price point would be. They said they haven't nailed it down yet, but they did float out, float out the idea of retailing this game at $29.99, which would just just be a massive massive mistake especially since yesterday even in the closed beta they could not seem to get a game up and running within a reasonable amount of time it was still taking a very long time just to get a full lobby going and they weren't even shooting for a hundred people in a game i believe what i saw i think they were only going with 15 people in a lobby now that might be a mistake but based on what i was looking at on the screen that's that's what i saw so i just i don't see this project succeeding and I would hate for them to waste more time and resources pumping out a product that I think is ultimately doomed to fail. Now you might think I'm being overly negative here with this video but I'm coming at this from someone whose financial future does not in any way rely on storm divers whereas Housemark it very well could be the difference between making or breaking their company headed forward. I don't know exactly how much of their resources are tied up in this game right now. I don't know how much funding they have. I don't know anything about their finances right now except for the fact that they, by their own admission, were not doing very well commercially with their last few games. So I can't think that they're just rolling in cash right now. And I think if they put too much more resources into this game and it is not successful, that is going to be a very bad sign for their future. That's all I'm trying to say here. And again, I'm coming at this as someone who has no financial stake in this whatsoever. And I can understand if from their perspective where their future might hang on this, that they might have been thinking that this is a good decision to make. Maybe they weren't thinking very clearly about this, but I don't know. And you might, you might say that, oh, who are you to say that you know better than the developer? And hey, fair enough. I don't have access to their know-how or their books or their finances or anything like that but from an outside perspective i just don't see how this project can possibly succeed at this point and again like i said yesterday just no buzz generated at all for this game so that's it for my coach toolshed bit of a downer video i agree not much to uh, be positive about from my perspective about this game, and I really don't want to see Housemark shut down. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you want to stay in tune with the channel headed forward. And as always, keep it turned to 11.